the Memphians, there are 83,500 deaths in Memphis. Mm -hmm. I am a credible person to talk about American Sign Language because not only do I use it daily, I've also done a lot of research on how to use it properly because not only do I know my mother, but I am also part of the Memphis Deaf community so that I can learn and help other people. Uh, it's relevant to my audience because if you learn sign language, you can make more money. Uh, the central ideas are, first of all, my pros and cons and the techniques of sign language. First of all, my pro, pay increase in communication. Jobs increase pay to signers because you'll be a translator and they'll start be able to serve more customers. A non-signing nurse makes $15 to $20 an hour. A signing nurse can make from $26 to $32 an hour. It's very little effort to make a major amount of money. All you have to do is go to a class and get certified. It's also easier to communicate. Many coworkers such as deaf co-workers, know a lot of things and can teach you a lot of things, but they can't talk to you. Mm -hmm. They might feel a little abandoned if they can't talk to anybody. You can also talk better over a larger distance signing than you can talking because there's words lost in translation. A large distance sometimes, say you're trying to warn a co-worker of a falling object or something that's about to fall. They'll understand you better from a distance if you're signing it. At the same time, cons. My cons are different versions of the same word and misinterpretations of some words. Different versions of different words. There are many different versions of different words. Because there's within the American Sign Language bracket, there's about six different region, regional or regional word groups. Learning different signs for the same word can help, but it can't always help. But context is the important thing. If you take something out of context, you'll most likely lose your translation. In many circumstances, I've noticed that my sign for what is different than the northern, where I came from Pennsylvania, their sign for what is two two W's and a shrug. That's their what. Mm -hmm. So whenever I did this, they thought I was being obscene because that's a different word in the North. Context and emphasis are important to sign uh, signers because it teaches you, it doesn't teach you, it tells you what their feelings are. If they use emphasis, it means they're either yelling or they're excited. And the context keeps everything supported. It's the same thing as if you talk in a sentence. You have your subject verb. Well, that's just the same as in signing. Many people misinterpret signs due to speed, attention span, and confusion. Many people sign too fast which means they misinterpret a lot of words. But they also don't have the attention span to keep in contact. They don't keep their eye contact, and then they get distracted. My last topic is the techniques. Certain techniques, techniques such as posture, flow, eye contact, and emphasis. There is a specific region for everybody to use their signing, it's from your face to your waist. If you go outside of the waist and face, many people don't understand. And if you keep it within the face and waist, it's comfortable and many readers and signers know the same. It's, it's kept in a group. But be sure to keep your hands away from your face, like if you're talking while you're signing, to not obscure the lips because the expressions are red as well. 
Um, between the waist and face is big enough and it's comfortable so you don't feel constricted. I also want to discuss about which hand to use because it really doesn't matter. Many people do it simultaneously. Uh, sometimes you write backwards pretty much. You sign backwards like uh, in the alphabet this is H and this is G. Well I've seen many people do it H and G which is different but you still understand it. Many people sign with both hands simultaneously because it's more efficient. People it's, it's not all drawn out and people remember the beginning of the sentence and the end of the sentence. To summarize, my, wish, my mission was to inform the class, my audience, about American Sign Language. And my pros, the pay increase in communication, the cons, the different versions and misinterpretation, and the techniques, ways to face, and which hand to use. Now, class, how many Memphians can you talk to? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the time? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you're still going. Okay. Cut it off? Yeah.